Hi, I'm Dr. Sally Lanford with Beesbury Veterinary Hospital, and I'm here to talk to you today about how to take care of your pet's teeth at home. Um, home dental care is really important um, to help prevent dental disease, which affects 80% of dogs and cats over the age of three. Before you start um, brushing your pet's teeth at home, it's really important to have them checked by a veterinarian to make sure that their mouth is healthy and pain-free. You never want to start brushing a mouth that has disease already present. In that case, we'll go ahead and do a dental cleaning at the vet's office, get rid of all the teeth that cause pain, get rid of all the inflammation, and then you can start taking care of them at home. Leo is three, so he has not had a professional cleaning yet, but he does require daily dental care at home. When we're talking about a dog or cat's teeth, there are four primary teeth that we're concerned with. The two canines on either side, this one, and this one, and this very large tooth in the back, that's called the upper fourth premolar. The reason for that is that there are salivary ducts that drain around each of those teeth, and so those are the ones that are constantly bathed in bacteria, food particles, and saliva, and those are very often the teeth that first start to cause disease. In small breed dogs, all of the teeth are affected in general, but concentrate on those four. And when you're starting, I like to start just with gauze. You can use your finger like a toothbrush. This is especially helpful if you have a small pet. And I just take my finger like this and use that as the brush. You can put a little bit of your enzymatic toothpaste on it. Um, this happens to be chicken flavored. You never want to use human toothpaste because that has fluoride which is toxic and it foams up and it can cause them to vomit. So you only want to use a veterinary product. Um, but to start with, you just want to put a little bit of water on a gauze square. The most important thing is to hold your pet's mouth closed when you do this. And then you just take your gauze and wipe it over that tooth. And then you can slide back and you can feel where the groove is on that tooth. After you do that, you'll see on your gauze that there's a little bit of yellow stain. That's plaque, and if left on the tooth, that would have turned into tartar, which in turn can cause gingivitis. So again, now I'm going to do it on the other side. This is how you get your pet used to it. And then, as he gets more and more used to it, you can just use the gauze square just to wipe down all of the teeth. Once they're really used to having their mouth handled, um, you can certainly switch to a toothbrush. We give these out for free at Beastbury Veterinary Hospital. They have our name on them, so you don't you get it confused with your own. And again, just concentrating on those teeth, circular motion, and then back. I'm holding the mouth closed at all times. If you have trouble doing that, um, and especially for cats, they may not be very compliant. Um, we have all kinds of different um, things that you can use at home, like water additives and a gel that you can apply with a Q-tip, um, if that's easier. So if you have any questions, just give us a call. Thanks for watching.